Well, we had about three inches of rain in about 20 hours. Not the hardest it's ever rained here, but hard enough. We got some pretty substantial runoff. I think you can see all that. And this is just in my driveway. So let's go see what it did to the garden. Well, the swale is doing what it's supposed to do. Water's coming around the swale and coming through here. It's kind of puddling up here, but it's not in my garden. So that's good. So let's come over here and look. We had some, uh, look like some of this may have come over here into the garden. So I need to, I need to come in here and kind of dam this up. I didn't do a great job at that apparently. Uh, I do have, of course, the garden's gonna have some water in it anyway, just because it rained on the garden, just like it rained everywhere else. But I do have a little bit of erosion down here. Right there just a little bit now I've already planted that row that is a raised bed and I just figured raised beds would do better with uh, since we do have some erosion stuff but I, it's nothing like it was before uh, but this this right here is Brussels sprouts up to about right there and then okra from there on up got tomatoes in peppers in got my grow arches over there planted with beans and cucumbers. So let's go down to this little garden and see what it looks like. This well has done, uh, looks like it's done much better. Um, maybe because it's deeper. The swell itself is deeper. The terrace is higher. Uh, that may have something to do with it. Uh, maybe because this is a better drain than the other side has. It's kind of dammed up a little bit right now. We'll just kick that loose start the process water start flowing you know the wood chips do dam up I think I've shown you that told you that before Get out there with a shovel kind of do a little bit better job but uh, this garden got onions here those are watermelons, and now we've got some seed planted that has not come up yet. Two more rows of watermelons, a row of cantaloupe, and then some pintos. Uh, I don't see any erosion at all on this garden, and this is the garden that uh, I showed you a picture of before that was eroding much worse uh, than its counterpart right there. Because all that was coming, was eroding up there a little bit, coming down here, it was all headed this way. So. I like it. Uh, the swales have done their job as, as best I think as they can do. I'll dam up that one little place that I showed you that's maybe, it's, it's kind of a, back up here a little bit. It's kind of, uh, the other place is kind of right in here. And this is, this is pretty high. This is uh, probably 12 inches higher than the other gardens. Uh, spillway, if you want to. Or whatever you call a an exit an exit place for the um, for the swale I came in here yesterday and fertilized just about everything I uh, just dug a fur furrow uh, and um, uh, put fertilizer in it covered it up and just in time for the rain so it looks good uh, rain did not hurt anything in the garden um, Again, eroded just a little bit right there on that bottom little last 10 feet there. But that's my fault for not, uh, anyway, for, for letting it get around. 